What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Haji Salad. Um, I hope every single one of you guys are having a great, great day. Um, welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been showing to my channel. A lot of you have been liking and subscribing to the channel. I went from having 100 subs all the way, we're up to like 217 subscribers now, so I really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. Bless up, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to try to upload as much content as I can for you guys. And if you guys want any kind of content, um, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to upload any sort of videos that you guys enjoy. So hopefully, without further ado, I want to get into this video. And for this video, I just want to talk about the truth behind tech boot camps. I mean, I know there's a lot of like different tech boot camps that are out there for a lot of many different people. So I just want to kind of discuss them, some of the good ones, some of the bad ones, things to look out for. So that one, when you're looking to break into tech and you're looking for different boot camps, I just want to make sure you guys, you know, do your best in your research. I'm not here to like, you know, pick a boot camp for you. Although I went through course careers, so I am a bit biased. But I just want to shed some light onto this topic about boot camps. I know a lot of people are like, should I go to a, a tech camp? Should I go to college? So maybe this video can kind of give you guys some pointers on the truth behind tech boot camp. So I had just I just have a few pointers that I want to go over. Hopefully they're going to be very helpful to you guys. So the first thing are the first thing is are tech boot camps better than college? I'm um, in my opinion. I think that's for the person to find out. I'm um, in my honest opinion. These tech boot camps are really really cheap. So your college you're looking at maybe four years. You're going to spend maybe up to 100k to go to college if you're paying for it. If you're paying for it, depending on if you go to community. Or university, you're spending up upwards of like 40, 60, 70, even up to hundreds, depending hundred thousands, depending on what you're majoring in. Now, these tech boot camps, um, the one I went to course careers, my course was only like five hundred dollars. There's other courses out there that are way more expensive than five hundred dollars. Um, so it just depends on what tech boot camp you go to, what you're trying to study. I know the coding boot camps cost a little bit more. For me, I went to course careers and I chose a tech sales. So my boot camp, the tech that the tech boot camp I went to was really, really nice. Um, it was five hundred dollars, but if you use my code in the descriptions, you can get it off for you can get it for fifty dollars off. So hopefully you guys are able to use that if you guys want to use course careers. But yeah, tech these tech boot camps are you know really cheap and you know they don't take that long. College, let's say you go to college, you're going about four years. Some of these tech boot camps you can get done within like two months, three months, four months. So you're looking at getting a certificate in whatever field, whether it's cybersecurity, whether it's tech sales, whether it is um, web development. If you go to a tech boot camp, you're probably going to get a certificate in that in that career within like maybe let's say two to three months, sometimes, you know, up to six months, depending on what career field you're trying to break into. I know coding and cybersecurity may take a little bit longer, but I know other things like tech sales and stuff like that and UX, UI, web development is going to be shorter. So it just depends on what you're trying to study. In my opinion, is boot camp better than college? I don't know because I went to college and I went to college for five years and I love the college experience and I'm not a huge school person. But I also went to course careers and I tried a tech, uh, the uh, tech bootcamp experience and I love that too. So in my honest opinion, if I were to go with anything, I'd go with the tech bootcamp mainly because it was a lot cheaper. I only spent like $500. You know, I don't like to spend a lot of money. College, if you don't have money, you're going to go in debt and you're going to end up paying a lot of money. I don't like being in debt. If you're somebody that doesn't want to be in debt, you want to save money, you want to get a certificate and have a potential to get a high paying job. I would definitely recommend a tech boot camp and do your research. When you're going to a tech boot camp, make sure you do your research, find something that works for you. So college versus a tech boot camp, I think that's for you to find out. Me personally, if I were to start over, I would definitely go with the tech boot camp. But I had a scholarship and I had my college paid for. So I really don't know. If you if you're gonna pay for college and you're gonna you don't want to go into debt, I would definitely recommend trying a tech boot camp. You're only gonna spend like maybe six hundred up to a thousand dollars, depending on what boot camp you go to and that's cheaper than spending 40 60k to go to college for about four five years you know so that's up to you um do your research though do your research but some of these tech boot camps are a little bit cheaper than college so that's the first point um second point is these boot camps they let you work at your own pace so when i went to course careers it's basically like an online platform they have the videos they have the quizzes they have books that you can read they have a platform which is a discord where you can connect with many different people they have career coaches and these courses that you take in these tech boot camps you can get done whatever you whatever time you want so let's say for example you're working full time right and you go to one of these tech boot camps 
You don't have to, it, these tech boot camps are not like a college class where you have to be there at a certain time. You can go at your own pace. So let's say you want to get like a couple, uh, a couple uh, videos done. You can go on there and get one video done per week. You know, it can take you, you can finish these courses in either two weeks, three weeks, two months, five months, six months, even a year. So if you buy these tech boot camps, you have all the time in the world. You can go at your own pace to finish them in college. You have, you're on a strict schedule. You know, you have semesters. You have to get your classes done within that semester. You have to go. To, you have to go to online class. You have to be on time. These tech boot camps, everything is pretty much done online. You don't have to worry about going to a class. Most of the most of the things that you're going to be learning is going to be pre-recorded videos, so you can watch these videos on your own time. You can read the books on your own time. You can study on your own time, and you have coaches and people that will help you on these different platforms. So the thing I love about these tech boot camps is you can go at your own pace. You don't have to rush, you know, going from work or if you have kids and you have a family, you can take your time and figure out a schedule that works for you because you don't have to worry about getting a certain assignment done at 12, you know, at 12 p.m. at night. So that's the one thing I enjoy about these boot camps is you can definitely take your time, work at your own pace. And, you know, that's just that just makes life a lot easier because we are working. You know, we have bills to pay and stuff like that. I just feel like these tech boot camps are a lot easier when it comes down to like working on your own pace. So that's one thing I'll say is a positive. So that's the second point. Another thing is, are tech boot camps expensive? Are they expensive? They can be. If you're somebody that, you know, has a family and is paying bills and stuff like that, it can be expensive. Even with the course careers, $500, that can be expensive for a lot of people. We are right now economically the world is in the world is in a really bad place and we all got things that we have to pay. So even five hundred dollars can be very expensive at times. But luckily a lot of these tech boot camps nowadays, they offer payment plans. So when I went to course careers and I wanted to go study tech I wanted to go um you know study tech sales and get into the tech sales field. Um, they were able to offer me a monthly plan. So I was able to pay, I think it was like bi-monthly or monthly, where I paid, I think like $60 a month in order to take these courses. So I didn't have, you know, $500 up front because I had other bills to pay, but they were able to, they were able to put me on a payment plan. And that's something that's, you know, they're very flexible. So if you guys are interested in course careers, um, they offer monthly payment plans. And I know many other different, um, um, I know many other different boot camps that offer uh, monthly plans, such as Caressa. Um, I think Bethel Tech they offer like monthly plans as well. So this they offer you many different ways to pay. You don't have to pay thousands of dollars upfront. Um, it's a month they put you on a monthly plan, so that way it's very flexible. If you're still working a job, you can pay that off monthly, so you're not spending a whole bunch of money all in one go. And sometimes if you don't like it, they're really flexible with giving you money back. So yes, they can be expensive. But it's not as expensive as college. College, you're probably paying like maybe what eight, ten thousand dollars in one semester. These tech boot camps, you're only paying like what five hundred, six hundred dollars, and it's is the price is just way better in my opinion. And they have a payment plan, and a lot of these people, a lot of these tech boot camps have really good customer service. So that's another thing. Um, going on to my fourth point, um, are these jobs from these tech boot camps guaranteed? Are the jobs guaranteed? I would say no. Just like when you go to college and you study a certain subject and you graduate, you're not guaranteed a job. The same thing with these boot camps. If you go to a boot camp, you study a certain career field, whether it's coding, cybersecurity, tech sales, whatever you're studying after you graduate from that course, you are not guaranteed a job. You have to put in the same effort that a college student has to put in order to go pursue a job. So that means what? Connecting with different people, making a really good resume going on LinkedIn, um, doing whatever you can to put yourself in a position to get a job. These jobs, just because you went to a do, uh, just because you went to a tech boot camp, does not mean a job is going to come and someone's going to give you a job. No, that is not how it works. You have to put in the work. So that means connecting with people, reaching out to different employers, not just applying for a job and sitting and waiting. No, you have to make an extra effort to go and reach out to these jobs that you're applying for and make sure you're putting in an effort to stay connected with them. You know, find out news updates, what's happening, figure out what career field that you're in, knowing what you're talking about in the interviews, prepping for interviews. So that means working on yourself, trying to get better every single day because you are not going to land a job right away. Some people who go to tech boot camps, I think the average person doesn't land a job within like three to four months. Some people maybe even take like a whole year. It's crazy, but you have to put in the work. These, these jobs are not going to land on your lap. You have to put in the work. So if you go to a tech boot camp, 
you are not guaranteed a job. You have to put in the work. And you, you guys, the more work you put in, the more consistent you are, the higher chance of you landing a job. So that's my fourth point. You are not guaranteed a job. You're given an opportunity to you know, study a certain career field. And if you work hard, you will be able to land a high paying job. Um, so that's my fourth point. And this is my fifth and final point. Um, which tech bootcamp should I go with? Um, like I said, I haven't tried every single tech bootcamp. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I've only tried one bootcamp and it's Course Careers. That's the only one I've tried. I've looked into other ones like Coursera, um, Bethel Tech, and there's so many other different ones online, guys. There's so many different ones. And that's for you to go and research and find out what's perfect for you. There is so many, so many YouTube videos that you can watch reviews for these tech boot camps. So I recommend you to go online on Google, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is, go and research these tech boot camps. Find out what works best for you. Find out what's within your budget. Find out what you want to study and find out a tech boot camp that works for you. And hopefully you'll find something that works for you. I found course careers. It was within my price. It was, it was within my budget, $500. I invested. I love my experience. And, you know, I continue to talk about it and I continue to recommend people to go to Course Careers. Um, the price is $500. I recommend anyone who's interested in Course Careers to go and check them out. Really great platform. You guys will really love it. But there's so many other different platforms you guys can, can go check out. That'd be perfect for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, it's, it's very, very tough out here. There's so many different tech boot camps. Do your own research. If you guys want any help from me, please let me know in the comment sections. I'm here to support you guys. Follow me on LinkedIn. My Instagram is in the description. If you guys want more videos, I just let me know in the comment section. Um, thank you guys again for liking the videos and liking and subscribing. I really appreciate y'all. Good luck in your tech journey. I'm here to support you guys. I appreciate y'all. Hope you have a great day. Peace.